Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So today we are going to be interviewing the MVP from the World Cup winning team, Spen from Nova Esports. Now this is going to be, let me just reject that. This is huge. Um, I've known this guy since the game has come out. You know, we, we've been close like brothers. We've always been speaking to each other almost every single day uh, for a super long time. We're super, super close. And I'm extremely happy that he, you know, if it's not me, I'm happy that it was him that won the World Cup. Now, this is going to be the first time he's been on the channel. Most of the time, I bring people from North America on the channel just because when I play, you know, there's no server delay. There's no lag. You know, time difference. There isn't much, if any. Um, but this guy's like a brother to me. I... And, you know, I'm so happy that he actually won the World Cup. Um, I'm going to be putting his YouTube in the description below. So definitely check that out. He's going to be starting it off. Obviously, he won the World Cup and was the MVP of it. So he's got some insane, insane gameplay. So he's going to be posting some stuff soon. Check him out. He's probably going to do an exclusive Brawl Stars giveaway. They got a ton of merch at the uh, Supercell event in Korea. And he got a ton of it. So he might be giving some of that out away. One of a kind stuff. Probably worth a ton of a ton a ton a ton if you guys are brawl stars fans you'd 100 percent want them i tried to get them he wouldn't he wouldn't give me anything so anyways let's hop into the interview and the gameplay let's get in there and let's see what he has to say all right yo what's going on guys so we're in the vc with spen lc right now the mvp from the world final so spen welcome to the channel how are you i'm doing great i'm quite sleepy in a minute but how are you i'm doing great you know happy to be in a call with you um, so we're going to be doing an interview, guys. I explained it during the intro. Sven is a little sleepy, but hopefully he can give us his full energy. Um, I was actually going to ask, are you finally rested after an insane week, or are you still trying to catch up? I mean, I'm, I'm definitely not rested in a minute. <laughs> I'm running on no sleep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so we're going to start off over here with some of the questions. So tell us a little bit about yourself, you know, how we know each other, your Brawl Stars career, you and esports, etc. Well, yeah, uh, we've known each other for quite a while now, probably like a year and a half. Uh, we obviously met through like playing a lot of ladder against each other. Obviously, you've been a god for much longer than I have, but <laughs> <laughs> my broad career has always been in Nova Esports, like literally since first day. I've uh, never left Nova, so I pride myself on that. But uh, yeah, basically, I first started, well, I first signed for Nova back in January, so that's when I was fully involved with Esports. Mm -hmm. So what did you, I always ask this to people who can hop on the channel, because I like to see, you know, because my experience was really interesting with this. When did you first realize that you be, that you were just a god at Brawl Stars? Well, I never considered myself a god, even though we just came back champions. But I mean, probably the first time I realized I was decent at the game was uh, probably PBL. I think it was season two. I mean, shout out to Coach Corey for, uh, for running that. Mm -hmm. But I think... When I first started playing competitively, I didn't really think I was the best. But then, I mean, I've played quite well at the beginning of the season. And then I see my stats and then everyone was like hyping me up. I was like, well, <laughs> <laughs> like my KD was like two. And I was like, well, I'm actually all right this game. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty interesting. So um, do you have anything like a YouTube, a Twitch? Obviously, you got a Twitter, all the pros have a Twitter. But do you make any content anywhere? Well, literally today, it's my first day back. And I've basically uh, set up everything. Well, I've bought everything. And hopefully that should arrive by the weekend. So I'm planning on firstly building my confidence up and starting Twitch, but I'll definitely start with YouTube soon. Mm -hmm, for sure. So anyways, guys, his links are going to be in the description below. So make sure you follow, subscribe, do all of that. You guys already know. Uh, you guys have been doing a great job with that, by the way. Patchy hit one point something K subs. We basically made Alex channel. So guys, just continue going on with that. Give Spence some love. So we're going to move on to some World Cup questions here. So tell a little, tell us a little bit about your travel. So we can tell with your thick British accent that you are probably from the UK. But, you know, <laughs> tell us about the travel time, uh, the hotels, everything like that. Our first flight, it was direct to Tokyo. Obviously on the way there, it took us 12 and a half hours. I mean, that, <laughs> that literally killed me because I've never... The longest I flew before was like three hours. Oh, wow. So obviously traveling that far away was just so exhausting. Mm -hmm. Uh... And then a two-hour flight from Tokyo to Busan. And then on the way back, it was basically the same but the other way around. But for some reason, it took 11 hours and a half on the way back. I have no idea why. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, either way, the flights were just so long and exhausting. Right, uh, right. You had Wi-Fi yeah. on your flight, though, right? On the way back. I mean, that was a godsend. The <laughs> on the way back, no Wi-Fi Wi definitely makes it better, for sure. It's just weird. It feels like you're not like... 
trapped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so what did you think of like the venue and you know the stage and everything, Korea as a whole, the hype around Brawl Stars, everything like that? Literally not to make make you feel uh, sound jealous or anything, but uh, the, the hotel and stuff like that was literally as top of range as you could get. I mean, like the hospitality throughout the whole time, it just literally felt like he was a celebrity. He was like being <laughs> like loads of bodyguards. Everyone was, everyone was just telling you how to do things. Like you didn't have to lift a single finger. Like <laughs> Supercell just know how to win. <laughs> Supercell really know how to look after people, man. Like it's crazy. Wow. And then we went to we went to like four different hotels for food. Like <laughs> I just thought it'd be like one hotel. You just have to stay in that hotel the whole time. <laughs> Basically, like trap rats, but. <laughs> It was far from that. We got to see quite a lot of sea. Wow. And then the venue itself. Uh, so before the games, there was like a little warm-up place, which is pretty cool. And like all the teams were really close together. So, I mean, that, that was bad and good. But, I mean, uh, like an, I think it was a game before, well, prior to the game we was going to play, we'd have to go to like a warm-up zone mm. and like test it like the real thing. So, I mean, compared to my previous LAN experience, that was like a hundred times <laughs> more serious. <laughs> so that got kind of played in my hands a bit more. All right. So who are your favorite people to meet? So this could be like YouTubers, you know, any of the pros there, the Supercell guys, you know, just anybody there. Who were you, you know, just really having a good time with? I'd say my main number one guy is definitely Sun Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's the funniest guy ever. I, I absolutely love him to bits. And then... Uh, from someone I've not met before, Twisty Twick was absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've heard a lot of good things about him. He was absolutely insane. He's so funny. And then obviously people like OG who I've not met before. And then obviously my teammates. I'd never met them before prior to this. And uh, well, YouTubers, Coach Croy, I've not met him before. He was pretty cool. Obviously, uh, Ark, I've met him before. But I mean, who doesn't love Ark? <laughs> Then there's a load of more YouTubers who I met and Supercell guys. Uh, I mean, going to the after party afterwards, uh, literally everyone was coming up to speaking to me. It was just insane how many Supercell guys there are. Like even like the Clash Clash Clans community manager was speaking to us, and she was so nice. And like <laughs> all these different people from different games were like speaking to me. It just just makes you think how good of a company they are. Like <laughs> they really know what they're doing. Mm -hmm, for sure yeah the, the, it, it looked insanely professional and everything you know all the stories all the pictures i got it, it definitely made me super super jealous of you guys um so <laughs> final question about uh korea as a whole what did you think about the korean food uh well <laughs> i'm really fussy eater, but i did not like it one bit and <laughs> <laughs> i think everyone else's reaction like on the first day we arrived at the event Everyone got given like a Korean meal box, and I, I don't think one person kept to it. <laughs> <laughs> the day after, everyone just ordered Western food, so just a typical like burgers and crappy fast food. But <laughs> <laughs> literally, no one, I don't think anyone enjoyed it. I feel bad because it's really healthy, but I just did not enjoy it. Yeah, I saw Ark tweet something of him eating like it was like literally moving. Oh, and I, no. was, like, I was like, oh god. <laughs> That's too far. That's one thing I would not do. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. So, so anyways, moving on to the gameplay question. So, how did you feel about your team going into the first game? Um, you guys did face one of the weaker opponents. So, were you guys super confident, or were you guys still training hard for that match? I mean, just from first day, I've I've already, I've only had a bit of land experience, and my teammates had none. So, I mean. Just going on stage for the first time was quite nerve-wracking to begin with. Mm -hmm. Like, I just remember being so, so nervous. Even though, on paper, like, nothing against the Hong Kong guys, but they were probably the weakest team there. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't at LAN, if it was just online, like, I I'd probably wouldn't be nervous. But just being at the stage, like, knowing... I just kept telling the guys, like, literally anything can happen. These are still really good players right. that got to this event. So we just had to take it super seriously, but... Right. I mean, right. we were still confident, and then as soon as we got on the stage, I think everyone's nerves settled down, and also we got three of victory. Right. So, do you think that your prior land experience helped a ton with this? Uh, I'd say it helped a fair bit. I mean, it was a lot more serious. Obviously, the Red Bull MEO was like on a couch and was just wearing whatever we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> 
and I mean it did help a bit but I suppose it didn't help too much because you still got the nerves and obviously the crowd was much bigger right, right. and it was a lot more on on the line whereas that one obviously it was my first time last time but it just it just didn't feel the same it was just way more professional this time right so now this this is gonna be a little bit of an interesting question so you guys as a team nova i'm not sure if you guys have but i don't think you guys have won any tournament that was 2-2 major as a team of three as you know you tom and cerulean and then obviously you know you go into this and then you win the biggest tournament ever in brawl stars so what do you think yeah. was different this time than in all the other tournaments that you guys have entered yeah, it was strange talking. I remember speaking to him before, and like literally every single tournament we're in, I've came second so many times. Mm -hmm. Like it's unbelievable. I just can't seem to win. I don't know if it was just a mindset thing, if it was just some bad luck. <laughs> it just never could be, and we could never beat the PSG guys as well. Like obviously in Frank's tournament, we came second. Like loads of other tournaments, just always falling short. And I just think. In this moment, I just kept telling them, like, we've came second so many times. Like, this is the one that actually matters. Like, <laughs> we put our heads on now and, like, win this thing. And obviously, <laughs> we came out victorious in the end. But I just I just literally think it's a mindset thing. You can put all the practice in and do everything you can do before. But it's all how you handle it on stage, right. I think. For sure, for sure. So you might have just answered this question, but who are you the most afraid of facing? Yeah, it was, it was definitely PSG. I mean, obviously they're really good players, but it's just strange. Like, I think we're as good as a team as them, obviously. They're still really good players. Mm -hmm. Like, I know they got knocked out in the first round, but obviously they're just as good as a team as we are. But just every single time we face them, we just... I just think it's a mental block more than anything. We just can never find out a way to get past someone like <laughs> it's so frustrating but i think finally after obviously winning this i think most of my mental blocks are probably out of the way now nice nice so how do you feel you and your team play now obviously you guys won but do you guys think that this is your maximum potential or do you guys think that you can play even better no i know i know for sure we can all play better uh obviously we all specialize in certain brawlers and like there's so many brawlers out there that i'm so rusty with but like obviously now it's the time to practice even more with the news of brawl stars 2020 so i'll be just i'll be grinding like five times as more because i know i can do way better in terms of how the event went like it went perfectly but obviously there's a lot of work to be done still right. i'm just glad it didn't go to a siege in our final set because we're <laughs> <laughs> that's by far our worst mode <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Um, so only a few more questions left. So now that you're back home, has your winning, you know, have you has it settled in yet, or are you still kind of, you know, it, you you know what I mean? Has it settled in at all, or are you still kind of uh, thinking about it twenty four seven? Yeah, I'm just thinking about it all the time. It just, <laughs> I actually can't comp comprehend it. Like literally, friends I've not spoken to for years are just messaging me. Like everyone's just super hyped, and I'm just like, <laughs> I just. I keep looking at photos and it just does not feel real. It's fr like three days ago now and I just like, it's not even the money, it's just like the whole just flying out to Korea. Like, I've never done anything like that in my life. And just, I would have been happy just just being there literally mm -hmm. and like to come away with the trophies just <laughs> <laughs> like unbelievable. I just can't put it into words how happy I am. Right, so now I just thought of this question during your last question what what did you feel when you guys won they brought you to the back they put capes on and then you walked out in your cape to everyone cheering for you coming for his place congratulating you giving you the check giving you the trophy how did that feel i mean i remember going back to stage after winning and then we handed us the capes and i was just like for god's sake i'm gonna look an absolute like <laughs> I've got a lot of such a big head coming out to this, but then I just thought, you know what, we may as well just own it. <laughs> like, I, I look back at the stream and just thinking, Jesus, we actually look like really cool. <laughs> but like, when I put it on, we was just waiting backstage and all the smoke came up. I just thought, like, what has just actually happened? <laughs> like, I just <laughs> had a few seconds to think to myself, like, we actually like did this. I, I didn't even know this was even possible when we came here. But and walking out and just seeing the cameras like around the face, I was just like, you just you don't know how to react to them situations. It was just so unreal. Right. I didn't know where to celebrate or cry or, <laughs> or 
just <laughs> run off the stage and just, <laughs> I don't know, I just didn't know what to do. Right. So, final question. I, t- I ask this I ask this to everybody. Is there anybody that you want to thank or shout out at the end of this video? You know, it could be a player, you know, a coach, a manager, someone you know, family member, anything. Yeah, I mean, obviously, a big shout out to Ark, as per usual. He's been like a dad to us. Uh, I didn't need to say much more about that one. Uh, obviously, coach. <laughs> We've got coach C in the background, coach Corey. <laughs> or like Corai. <laughs> coach Corai, yeah, it's not the YouTuber coach yeah, Corai. Yeah, no, coach Corai. Uh, he's helped us quite a lot leading up to this. Uh, prior to that, Portal was a big uh, mentor to like our mindset to things. So obviously, like after losing games and obviously winning games, mm-hmm. he's helped keep us focused, and that obviously really helps on stage. Shout out to literally everyone who's supported us and congratulated us. Like this whole event's just been absolutely unreal. And obviously, big shout out to you because <laughs> you've literally been there since day one, and I couldn't thank you enough for your support all the time. Well, that does mean a lot, but that is going to end it here, guys. So thank you, Spen, for coming on the channel. Um, But yeah, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the interview. That's going to be it for today. Again, remember, make sure you guys subscribe to everything Spen makes. He's doing an an insane Twitter giveaway right now. It's blowing up. So definitely check that out for some exclusive (laughs) Brawl merchandise that I really want, but I'm never going to get. So anyways, (laughs) I hope you guys enjoyed the interview. That is going to be it for us today. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.